Hey, this is Susan. Welcome to Unsolicited, where we break down fashion one stitch at a time. Now today, we need to get our sojo back. So, let's start designing with rectangles. Okay, let's start with this Burberry scarf. Now, it is just a simple thing if you really, really look close. It has raglan sleeves, so find a raglan sleeve blouse. It has scarves inserted in the bodice front. The bodice back is the same as a plain shirt, okay? But the bodice front has the scarves or rectangles. <laughs> so just put them in place of the bodice pattern. Simple. Put a belt on this or let it fly free and be fly. Okay, next up is the Metamorphosa design from Etsy. It's a high-low hem and asymmetrical draped top. Now the pattern block I would use for this is a t-shirt design with a high neckline. So you can draw or draft a diagonal across the bodice and insert your rectangle as shown. Okay, here's what the back looks like. They carry the drape all the way to the back and past the side seams into the back pattern piece. Um, I like that. It sort of it gives you coverage on the side. So, hmm, very, very interesting top. Very, very cute to make. Okay, this is my favorite. This month's ruffle back blouse. Baby, look at that. It's very simple, but the sleeves, the placket sleeves, y'all, they're exaggerated in length. I like the crew neck. I like the high um, arch in the front. Um, I don't care for the check really, but I do like the design overall. It's really, really cute. Mm -hmm. The back is where the rectangle is. Oh my goodness. Now this is why I love this top. This um, draping here, the handkerchief hem that that rectangle creates is amazing. And you can imagine walking in this with that flowing in the wind. Mm, baby, party in the back. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, now this top itself is striking. Simple, easy breezy top, but you know, we're talking about rectangles here, so let me focus, let me focus. All right, let's show this rectangle cuff. Hmm. Okay, this is called the Echo Top, by the way. And what they did was take a rectangle, add it to a basic sleeve of the bodice, and cut the rectangle extended. It's a bit longer than um, the circumference of the sleeve. So it has like a little tail on it and they put buttons on it and it opens at the end. I'm sorry, I didn't get a better picture of this one, but it's amazing. So if you check it out, just um, Google search Palmer and Harding Echo Top. Okay, this outfit, I'm not sure if it's a dress or a two-piece. So, but um, it's an A-line asymmetric skirt base so you'll cut it off at the waist excuse me at the hip and insert your rectangles here and I think there are four being used in this one so one in the front one in the back uh, in a similar placement as the front and then two on the sides here so very cute very impactful look at the it creates a split on either side and in the back and shows off the legs so you can't beat this this is really good and it's a good twirlable skirt too hmm. I didn't think about that, but it is. It's very cute. Okay, this is a design by Open Ceremony. It's an asymmetrical sweater dress. Now, from what I can tell, it has about three rectangles, um, and it's based on a fitted knit bodice pattern. Um, you can cut this um, initial pattern with a diagonal across the front bodice and across the back, and insert your rectangles. Now this requires some strategic placement of these rectangles, so you'll have to take your time with this one. But it's so worth it, look at it, it's worth it. <laughs> look at the back. <laughs> and here's the back. Now it, it really isn't that complicated, it just takes a little time. I think an intermediate sewist could knock this out. Um, so if you try it, leave a comment uh, below and let me know how it worked out for you. Um, if I get enough comments about this one, maybe I'll do this one on a video for you. Okay? Okay, let's get into skirts. Now, this skirt is by Zen Yanex, and it's an A-line skirt base 
with an asymmetrical insert. Now that asymmetrical, of course, we know is a rectangle. Um, you know, this probably costs $800, who knows? <laughs> These designers try to get away with stuff sometimes. But anyway, uh, if you are confident, so as you can do this, um, draw a curve or a slight curve or a diagonal um, curve uh, to from the hip to the hem and insert that rectangle. I believe this rectangle carries over to the back uh, portion of the back of the skirt. So in this case, you're going to have, um, let's see, three pieces for the skirt itself and then the one piece for the rectangle um, this is a you know one that's going to kind of require some creative layout when you're laying it out for cutting out um, because you're going to lay it out on one layer each piece for the skirt um, so just keep that in mind uh, when you're making something like this but very chic very impactful very classic um, cool cool piece Okay, this is sort of a variation of the last skirt. Now, this is Oscar de la Renta, a A-line mid midi skirt with a curve. Now, like I said, curve. This uh, There's a curve drawn from the side seam over to um, just off center front in the front of this. I've examined this a thousand ways, and there's a dress made upon this same um, pattern um, design. So very nice I love the way it goes up high uh, around the knee area uh, with that uh, rectangle <laughs> inserted in there of course the draping you can't miss with asymmetrical draping um, and even in the most basic I mean why wouldn't you change your a-line skirt I mean this, this just make keep it real why wouldn't you change your basic a-line skirt with this rectangle why? It doesn't require you to learn any more sewing, <laughs> except for measuring, but you know how to do that. Anyway, I digress. Um, I hope you got your sojo back by now. <laughs> if not, girl, wake up. <laughs> okay, before I get out of here, I'm going to show you a couple pieces that I've created with rectangles. <laughs> Um, this is my client and I'm going to do a little close-up so you can see the collar that is on her jumpsuit okay I had no clue initially how to do this it was from an inspiration picture that she found and the collar was turned over like this and I was like well what do I do <laughs> to fix it and and to create it actually and I, it's a rectangle it really is a rectangle. I cut out a piece of paper. Um, I decided how deep it's going to be uh, in the back. I knew I had to resolve that with a, um, a diagonal or angle cut. And so that's the only change I made to it. I actually did cut it on bias though, um, so that it would curve around her shoulders and wouldn't be, um, it would drape properly. But other than that, um, it's a rectangle. <laughs> Uh, but one of the cutest outfits I made um, to date, I think. Okay, this one I created um, under my label, Metropolitan Frock. Um, it's an asymmetrical poncho. It is one length of rectangle fabric <laughs> with a hole cut out for the neck. And also, I stitched up the sides sort of where the fold is and left a little opening for each arm. I hope you can understand what that means but anyway this thing right here though had impact now just imagine I'm walking I catch a little wind baby I'm like floating <laughs> across the floor and you know people will look and I get you know oh that's nice da, 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 da. but listen make yourself do yourself a favor spring is coming Make yourself one of these or several of these and make some for your friends because they will thank you later and say, girl, that little top I put on with my tank top and jeans and my pumps was fire. <laughs> anyway, guys, I had a little fun with this. I'm glad you guys joined me today and I will be bringing more videos like this. So stay tuned. But before I go, I've got one more inspiration piece for you. Okay, okay, okay. 
this one. This Matisevsky A-line mini dress. Guys, uh, it's a moment. I love it. It's minimalist. <laughs> Not really. But <laughs> it's funky. I like a playful dress. I love something that says, uh, boom, bam, pow. It makes a statement. And this is what? A skirt that's made from a what? Rectangle. <laughs> it's much like the um, poncho that you just saw. Except that, you know, where the hole was for the neck, it's just a hole for the waist. <laughs> and the hem is even. That's it. That's it. Um, and the back, I think they split the back so that the zipper can be inserted. You can put a nice basic fitted bodice on here or you can try doing some of the intricate style lines that they created in this one. And look, you got sleeves that are also rectangles. So the theme continues. <laughs> but guys, this one right here, this is for grown-ups. <laughs> uh, so look, intermediate sewists, those who have just, you know, paid their dues a little bit. They can jump on this and, and make a really cute and chic dress. And also, get to know this designer, Matyshevsky. I don't know really much about them, but I have, when I was doing a little research, they have some very cool, funky clothes. Now, if you like just a different, and I, and I hear that term a lot, different. Well, different is Matyshevsky. <laughs> and I love designers like that. So I'll be bringing more of that kind of stuff. But anyway, guys. That's it. Um, so I'm going to sign out. Okay, until next time, uh, like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Now, if you don't like it, put that in the comments and tell me why. And I'll do better. <laughs> See you next week.